West Virginians are fighters. We're tough, we're gritty, and we're resilient. West Virginia, I'm coming for the fucking governor, Chris Miller. My name is Chris Miller, the fighting governor, and I'm running for governor of the state of West Virginia in 2024. I'm gonna whoop your governor's ass. I'm gonna knock him the fuck out. I'm gonna make him regret ever signing up for this shit at the age of 44. This West Virginia native is gonna fight in the rough and rowdy and show everybody else out there how tough people from West By God, Virginia really are. Texas Tony and the fighting governor. Finally up to the fighting governor. He's brought 200 people in attendance and we'll move right on from that place. Evil brothers. You can't really say gracious in defeat, but they put on a show. They calling the ref a tard. <laughs> like, come on. Here's the And by the way, no chance he should have a point deducted, by the way. <laughs> no, agreed, agreed. All right, so here we go. Chris, the fighting governor. He is running for governor in West Virginia in 2024, fighting Anthony Texas, Tony Encino. He won at r, &R 10 in Providence, uh, and he had a close indie match against Lights Out last summer. What the hell is an indie? Like, what does that mean? Uh, it was I, like an underground fight. Yeah, yeah. In like a garage? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. We don't talk about the fight club, though. All right, the fighting governor has gigantic calves. Some KT tape there on his uh, calf. Now, watch boys, for that. I feel like with a win here, you earn so much respect in West Virginia. Oh, yeah. But do you think the election is on the line with a loss? Oh, yes. Providence came right out, gets stunned there. Oh, oh. big right. Stunned the governor. Yep. And the governor's holding, though. Can't follow it up. Good little exchange right there. Nice jab. There's 12 years in between these guys, the governor, the older one. They're both throwing heavy punches. Good left there from Blue Gloves. But the governor keeps coming forward. I feel like the governor is eating his best punches. He is. Good response. I got a feeling this could end oh. in a knockout. That was a little matrix. Yeah, it was. He leaned back. So right now, I feel like Blue Gloves winning, but I don't I know. I think the governor's taking over. I don't know. Oh, the governor is like stronger. He's eaten everything that he's had. I think Who the governor's like taking over. Cherry a little bit. Yeah, Anthony and Cizo. I just think he's gonna get caught. So that, like, so for me, that fight was blue gloves first round. But I'd go red. Really? Yeah. But I, tough. I feel like the governor is gonna land one punch that's gonna t turn the tenor of the fight. That was a. T I, I wouldn't go to the mattresses on either fighter in that round, but I would give it to the Blue Gloves. I'd give it to Anthony Texas Tony. But I feel like he was walking, the governor was walking right through it and a little more unstable. My name is Chris Miller, the fighting governor, and I'm running for governor of the state of West Virginia in 2024. Coming to whoop your governor's ass. I'm gonna knock him the fuck out. I'm gonna make him regret ever signing up for this shit at the age of 44. This West Virginia native is gonna fight in the rough and rowdy and show everybody else out there how tough people from West By God, Virginia really are. All right, round, round two. two. Here's my prediction. I think the governor is going to catch him with a punch and totally turn the tenor of the fight. I thought Texas Tony won that, is it? Yeah. But he just looks more unstable, like oh. right there. Right there. Oh, he's in trouble now. This is what I expected to happen. Why didn't he put his hands up to And he's still not putting his hands up. Is he hurt or no? I don't what know. What is going on? Oh, did he hurt the governor? Holy moly. Wow, now he's, he's screaming. screaming. I thought he was out on his feet for a minute. He's not, he's swinging from his hips oh. and down goes the governor again. He's using a lot of energy screaming. But the Texas Tony looked like he was out for all intents and purposes. He's got crazy eyes now, Dave, crazy eyes. Didn't you think the governor was uh, out? Yeah. yeah. The governor's entourage is stunned. Oh, the governor landed a good oh, shot they're though. Both landed oh, heavy. And I'll tell you what, Texas Tony got caught in the ropes after landing a big one. This These guys are landing haymakers. What Great a second fight. round. I have no idea who's ahead. I think it's gonna be Texas Tony because of the knockdowns. They're both hurting Ooh. another big shot. It's what a, a round, what a fight. fight. Might be the best round of the night so far. Yeah. That whole round could be a replay. Let's watch the beginning of that fight. The beginning of the round where Texas Tony's just eating punches seemingly out on his feet. Can we get that replay? Here we go. What? I what know, was he doing I think here? he was just taking them. How was he taking <laughs> those? <laughs> Why was he doing that? And then he comes back and knocks him down. Unbelievable. 
Unbelievable. Wow. I know yeah, he got, gonna, Texas Tony got a little psycho in him. Let's get to the third round. We'll get to Jerry after this round of this fight. It's a great fight. All right, round three. What do you guys have there? It's it gonna be. I, it could decide it all. I but think Texas Tony Texas, has multiple Yeah, knockdowns. Texas Tony's in the lead for sure. But yeah, I don't know. I, I thought he was out on his feet. He was just eating them. He, and he's, they're just both throwing heavy, heavy punches. Both landing. Can't tell who's hurt and who's not. The governor is a big, thick guy. Yeah. Like heavy punching. This has been a great fight. First little, oh. another big shot. Texas Tony eats it, comes right back, and they're both swinging. Good little left. Oh, big great right. shot from the governor. And Texas Tony goes back. Texas Tony looks like he's on his last legs. Smart to clinch right yep. there. They're both still swinging. And again, is he hurt? Is he hit? He is he just clinching now? I think he is he getting either hurt or at yeah. Gas head down, swinging, good body shot, finishing up the governor. That's all the governor and oh, the wow. fight against the ropes. I don't know what keeps Texas Tony up. Oh, oh, he tried to bounce him off the ropes like an Irish whip. That's, That's a, a great, great fight. fight. Great fight. I think you've got to give it to Texas Tony. Tony. But the governor won the third round. He did. Definitely. We'll see. We'll see. I feel like the governor won the first as and well. And we're in his hometown. No, I, well, if you, of course, if you thought that, then he'd win the fight. Yeah. It could be a split decision. I Both have no guys idea. Just Wouldn't left be surprised. It all I'd give it there. to Tony because I thought Tony won the first. He definitely won the second. I thought the, th the third went to the governor. Anytime there's a little delay again, we can't have another draw. Okay, we're we'll getting the scores. What a great fight. That was fight of the night. Yep. Yeah. That's going to be our fight of the night right there. Three Chi, fight of the night. And again, a little bit of a delay. It's like when there's a good fight. I don't know what the delay is. Maybe they're just taking their time scoring it. Bunch of people in his corner with the fighting governor shirts. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been ruled a majority draw. Oh, what does that mean? I, again, a draw. That, it, it would have to mean a 10-8 round and two 10-9 rounds in the opposite direction than what we're doing what are here. These refs, what are these fucking judges doing? We've never had a draw in 20 20 rough and rowdies, you've had no draws, we have two tonight. Honestly, I feel like the judges forgot to score that fight, and afterwards they were like, it was even, so just give it to both of them. It was a great fight, but let's just score it by rounds. There's Can we three talk rounds. to the judges? Can we interview the judges? All right, Roan with the governor. Guys, I'm here with the governor. A uh, draw right there. Are we thinking there was maybe some voter fraud? <laughs> I'd rather do it again. I'd rather do what that? I'd rather do it again. Okay, and, and what do you think that you show people who might vote for you tonight? I don't quit. That's right. I don't quit. And uh, and what about your opponent? Did you feel like he put on a nice show out there? He did a good job. Why should people in 2024 select you to be the next governor of West Virginia? Because like all West Virginians, I'm a fighter. We were made for this. We've been taken advantage of for way too long. We've been extracted. They've taken our coal. They've taken our natural gas. No more. We're going to stand up. We're going to work together, and we're going to stop them from taking everything that we have that makes it so special. You got a little boogie on your nose there, brother, but a hell of a speech. Back to you guys. Robbie Fox here, rough and rowdy commentator and ringside correspondent. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. New videos every week, and go to watchrnr.com for the latest info on our upcoming events and how to find out how you could be the next fighter in the rough and rowdy ring.